As a boy, New York Assemblyman Daniel O'Donnell recognized that he wanted to make a difference in the lives of others. His sister, Rosie O'Donnell, once told the New York Times that he dreamed of going into politics and fill the bulletin board in their home with campaign buttons. He grew up to attend law school and fight for tenant representation and push civil rights litigation on issues ranging from employment discrimination to the First Amendment. But it was in 2002 that Daniel O'Donnell's childhood dream came true as he was elected as the first openly gay man to the New York State Assembly. From the beginning, Assemblyman O'Donnell fought against the indignity of being a representative of the state while being denied the full equality his colleagues in the legislature enjoyed. And in 2007, he launched the first of four hard-fought efforts to extend full marriage equality to all committed couples in the state of New York. The bill passed the assembly and had the support of then-Governor Elliot Spitzer, but it was blocked by the Republican-controlled state Senate. What Assemblyman O'Donnell has shown us is that this war for full equality is sometimes two steps forward and one step back. But he recognized that even in those temporary defeats, we're still working towards full change. The first time I debated this bill on the floor, I pointed out that two drunk people can get on a plane, fly to Las Vegas, stand in front of an Elvis impersonator, and they get to have something that I cannot get from my own government. Undeterred, he tried again in 2009 and successfully passed the bill twice before seeing it shot down by Republicans once again. But in 2011, things would be different. On May 10th, Assemblyman O'Donnell introduced the Marriage Equality Act. Nationally and internationally, all eyes turned to the state of New York. O'Donnell made his lobbying efforts personal, using every trick in the book to woo Democratic and Republican votes. And it worked. Just weeks after the introduction of the bill, it passed both chambers with bipartisan support. And on June 24th, Governor Mario Cuomo signed the bill into law. Shortly thereafter, the Assemblyman announced he plans to marry John, his partner of 30 years. It seems very quick to the general public and folks in the media, but for me, it's been a long struggle and now a great sense of elation and joy. I think it's the right thing to do. The majority of New Yorkers, Americans, and Californians think it's the right thing to do. And it's about time that we treat gay and lesbian couples the same way we treat everyone else, not just in New York, but in every state.